This week on Adventures with Peps, we are painting Mongoose Publishing Judge Fear. Now, Judge Fear was one of the four main dark judges, and he opens his face pl plate to pass judgment on those he believes are guilty and causes them to face their worst fear. Yep, I basically primed the model black, gave it a big heavy white dry wash, we are going to try and recreate this iconic character. We're going to start off with trying to get some pink into his eye slots and his mouth guard. Now the issue is, this is a mongoose publishing model. Their sculpts aren't the best. As you can probably see in this close-up, they're very soft. I think is the best way to describe them. They're handcrafted. Uh, this isn't like Warlord Games or Games Workshop who use a bit of computer graphics to help them out with their designs. This is some guy with green stuff sculpting a figure that is then cast into metal. But he's got the pose down. It's a very iconic pose. That step's super quick. I'm not even going to be able to talk about it. We went that quick. But yeah, only uh, twice has it been revealed what's under his mask. The first time was a mass of eyeballs. And the other occasion was these weird, like, spidery mandibles. Very gross. So, his body glove. Most judges have the black or dark blue, as I'm doing mine. So the SJS is black. Dark blue for the street judges. For the judges, the dark judges, I'm using the dark grey. So we're just going to pick out any part of his bodysuit that we can see, which is mostly his legs. A little bit of his stomach and his sleeves. He is a creepy guy in game. I really hope Warlord Games get around to making him. Because as you can see roughly on his belt, he's got like a shrunken head of some past victim. He's got his man traps that he throws at his victims as well to stop them from running away. It's so cool. He is probably my favourite Dark Judge. And that's saying something because they're all pretty cool. I was lucky enough to get all four of the Mongoose Games Dark Judges, so we are going to go through them. They're probably more in scale with the standard Street Judge of Warlord Games, unlike their new Death version, who is absolutely massive when he's next to a Street Judge. He towers over it. It's like an eight-foot humanoid. These are more standard six-foot-esque. With the helmet, Fear probably would be like 6'2 compared to... Are the street judges? I am probably not going to use him as Judge Fear in game. Now, the reason is I'm hoping more Lord games are going to produce them. So I'm hoping there's going to be a new sculpt. But what I am going to use these four mongoose models as is uh, death impersonators. I kind of imagine they're being street performers and they're reenacting Judgment Day. So there'll be a death, there'll be judge fear, there'll be mortis, there'll be fire. And I'm just going to use them as like almost civilians in game. They're reenacting Judge Kraken and Judge Dread, fighting these guys with Anderson. It gives me an excuse to use models from another range that I might not necessarily use. They'll serve actually no purpose in. Warlord games other than acting like civilians. But I thought it'd be funny to have them just in it. Whereas in the RPG, they'll have a use. It could be a mission that involves the judges having to interrogate them. Maybe the judges have been called in because there's been a sighting of the dark judges. It turns out to be impersonators that the judges have to track down. Maybe it leads to a, a bigger crime at a later date. Could be a way... To build out a story arc for the RPG setting. We're now moving on to Orc Skin. I wanted a pop of colour. It's weird. His artwork varies from artist to artist. So in his description he has a black helm. Um, his shoulder pads sometimes look silver. They sometimes look bone. They sometimes look golden. His knee pads too. Sometimes they're bone. Sometimes they're green. I'm imagining them looking more like the modern day street judge so I did go green for his knee pads and a little bit on his belt his shoulders and some other motifs I went bone in the end 
just because I thought it looked nicer. I didn't want to go yellow or gold. I don't want him to be stupidly bright because as you'll see his cloak is going to be bright blue later on. So with that in mind I didn't want to go overboard with a bright yellow as well. I want enough popping on him that he looks similar to a street judge but I still want to keep him different and also we can put it down to it being an impersonator. They don't actually know what fear looks like, they're taking guesses at it. Now I painted that green because I thought it was a pouch, but when I started looking at the reference artwork at a later date, I realised it was actually a bear trap, but it doesn't really matter. We swiftly move on to the pallid bone. So I actually end up using this for his chains, his uh, shrunken head, the lock that's next to it his badge and his shoulder guards. Now his little motif is a bird. You can't really see it because the sculptor put the chain over the top, which is a real shame. Would have been nice to see the skull a bit more. It's what makes the different judges iconic. They all have slightly different symbols going on with them. And this is where I decided Bone makes the most sense for his shoulder guards. I think I did Judge Death back in the day with the Bone shoulder guards. I'll have to look at my Warlord figure. It's in the cabinet. He's so powerful, I've never used him in-game. I think he would just rip to shreds anybody that he comes across, which he rightly should. Obviously, Dread and Anderson would probably be able to stand up to death. But at the same time, they just tower over these models. Don't know what made them decide to make Death such a tall and imposing figure. I guess it helps him stand out as a character in game, but when you think of Judge Dredd being the same as every other street judge almost, it seems weird to make Death so imposing and large. Right. A few more swipes, that should be this stage done. He's looking pretty good. It's starting to take shape already. I am worried about the cloak. I'm worried it's going to be too bright when I get around to it. Just going to give this shrunken head another coat. They lightened up a bit too much to my taste. Right, that should be good. We'll let that dry for a minute. And now Maligant Green, the perfect zombie colour. Now obviously the uh, Dark Judges are bodies that have been rotten and decayed a little bit to allow their dark spirits to take over them. So these aren't healthy bodies, so they've got to be slightly off shade. And what better than this putrid green colour? Look at it. It looks rotten. I used this on Judge Death for definite, I remember it. I also used this on another zombie. My goal is to probably build up enough zombies so that I can play Last Days by Ash Baker. And I think I'm going to try and use the block gangers to represent the heroes in that game, fighting off a zombie attack. And this colour just goes on so nicely. Doesn't need much, just doing his feet and hands. If I can get the camera in the right place. Look at that, this is taking shape. We're down to, what, two colours left to go? Next up, Runic Grey. As we all know, I use this instead of Metallic Metal. So I'm going to be hitting up his helmet mostly. And the man traps on his belt. So we'll start with the trap on his belt. This is where I realised I'd made an error on the other side. Once I could see it, I was like, ah, crap. But hey, it happens. And then I'm just swiping out, in to out, on the uh, the helmet wings. I find it catches the dips a lot better when you go that way. 
I guess go with the green, not against it. Making sure I hit up everything quite nicely and quite heavily actually. This is a wonderful colour, but it will escape on those flat surfaces. So I'm loading it up so it struggles to escape. The temperature in Ottawa is still bloody warm. So this paint is drying quick, which is great. Because it means it's not given the contrast paint too much time, especially on these smooth surfaces, the pool. It's drying nice and quick, which is what I want. And then this is where I got a bit nervous. I was worried that the pink might not have dried yet, but then turned out I had, so I didn't need to worry about that. There was no running, which was good and surprising. Just a tiny bit of pink shows through on his grill and his eye lenses. So I'm very happy with that effect. And there we go. We're on to the last paint. We're what, 11 and a half minutes into the paint job. This is probably one of the quickest I've done. So I'm using High Lord Blue. And I'm just going to cover the cloak. Now the fact that this took such little amount of time to paint is such a bonus for me. Um, I probably get about an hour a day of hobby time. And I try to do my videos, I try to play a computer game, try and edit my videos as well and do a bit of YouTubing. So the fact that this only takes about 15 minutes start to finish, so happy about that. I'll probably edit the video on the same night and get this up onto YouTube straight away. This is probably a good time to say like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Make sure you're watching the whole video. You could mood it, I don't care. <laughs> Just give me that watch time. It's very awkward asking for stuff. I hate asking for subscribers and watch time, but it really is helping me. I love the fact that I'm getting consistent viewership now. There's a few of you who keep checking in on me, keep asking what projects I'm on. It's nice to then also see you over on Instagram and whatever, Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this model. I'm thinking maybe we do Judge Mortis next. Fire and then the Mongoose Judge Death. Get the whole set done. And then somehow work out maybe a little scenic piece to go with them to represent that they're a theatre group. Maybe like a sign that's a busker sign. Little tip jar. Make it obvious that they're meant to be a theatre group and not the actual dark judges. As always, I'm going to try and have the stat screen on the community page to use them in an RPG. I will not put up the uh, dark judge version of him. It will be the impersonator version. So go check it out. Give it a like. Drop me a comment if you think I've missed something that I should have put in there. And we will just finish this up now. Maybe I'll skip forward just so you don't have to watch me do the whole cloak. And as always, I do really appreciate you stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. Drop me a comment, say hi. And I will catch you in the next video really soon. Cheers for watching. Yeah.